Hi guys, John Ambrosic here from Smale GMC in Greensburg. Today we're going to go over pairing a Android phone to the Bluetooth in the GMC IntelliLink and also demonstrate how to connect to Android Auto. Um, IntelliLink, very easy to get into and, and pair your phone. So what you're going to do, you're in the main screen here, you're going to touch the phone icon. Uh, on your Android phone, you're going to want to go to the settings menu on the phone itself and you're going to go into connections, into Bluetooth, and we're going to hit pair device on the screen here. GMC IntelliLink is going to pop up here. We're going to touch it. It's going to give you a code here. You just want to make sure that those codes match. We're going to hit OK on the phone. Yes on the system. We're going to hit OK here. Now sometimes on the Android phones, what it's going to do, it's going to give you a couple little messages here just to confirm a few things. So it's asking access for your messages. This is basically going to be if you get a text message while you're driving, it's going to give you the, enable you to pull those messages and have the vehicle read them to you. So for safety reasons, right now we're going to do allow. It's also going to ask you to allow access to contacts and the phone log. We're going to hit allow there. Okay, now once you have the phone paired, you're back out on your main screen. Touch the phone icon. Now you can go here to the contacts. All of your contacts are going to be sunk with the phone. Um, once you get out of the car and it disconnects, none of this information stays in the vehicle. So it just syncs and pulls them over while it's connected. Now, looking up the Android Auto. So um, with the Android, you're going to have to make sure that you actually download the Android Auto app. Once you get that downloaded on the phone, you're going to use your USB cord and we're going to connect that into a USB port in the vehicle. And then plug that into your phone. Phone is going to ask to access photo data. You can do that if you want. We're going to hit allow for this right now. We're going to hit the Android Auto app. It's going to walk you through now to get started. So we're going to hit get started. You're going to grant permissions for it to access the thing, the all of your contacts and any other maps, things like that, that it may access. You're going to want to hit continue there. It's going to ask you to allow Android Auto to manage your phone calls. You're going to hit allow. Allow Android Auto to access the device's location. That has to do with the map, so we're going to allow that one. It's also going to ask you to send and view SMS messages, which are your texts. So we're going to allow that. Ask you to access your calendar. Allow. And to record audio. We're going to allow that. Access your contacts. Allow. Get set up. We're going to allow it to show you notifications. Now you can go through here in your notification access. You can kind of pick and choose what you want out of those. Now it's going to ask you to turn on auto launch. It's going to give you a list of different things. So we're going to pick the GMC IntelliLink. Turn that on. Now this is your Android auto screen. We're going to activate it here. It's going to give you a disclaimer. You're just going to hit continue. Basically, now it's going to tell you what Android Auto does for you. You're going to hit continue. Now your Android Auto is going to come up on the screen. Um, you can ask. It's basically going to give you a tutorial. You can either sit, hit show me or skip. We're just going to kind of skip through some of these things here. So to talk to Google, on the steering wheel, you have your voice command button. It's basically telling you to push and hold that, and it will actually activate the microphone. So we're just going to set the phone here. Once you hear it beep, then you can start talking. So now to access the Android Auto, you just say, OK, Google, and you start talking, give it directions, tell it you want to call somebody, pull up your maps. Um, so again, you can either touch the voice command button. This is going to be your Android Auto screen. Down along the bottom you have your shortcuts. Um, turn by turn it's going to give you your map option. 
The nice thing about that, you're going to pull up Google Maps. It puts it right on the screen. So for cars that don't have navigation built in, you can actually access it that way. The phone button is going to take you out. It's going to give you a list of contacts. This button right here, the circle, is your home screen. It's going to take you back into there. You have the one with the headphones. It's going to give you any type of uh, book playback. You have music. And then the bottom one is just going to take you back into the IntelliLink. So that's going to get you back so you don't have to hit the home screen. Pull you back into this screen, which then you can just touch auto, listen to the radio. Or if you want to get back into the Android Auto, you just push the home button. Android Auto is now going to be right there. You touch it, it launches back into it. And again, just disconnect the cord. It's going to shut off the Android Auto. Once you disconnect the phone, you're back into the Bluetooth now, so you can make your calls normally like you would with Bluetooth. Again, to get back into the Android Auto, if you want to do that, you're just going to plug the USB plug back in. Home button, and the Android Auto app is right there again on the screen. So, any questions about pairing your Android phone through the Bluetooth or using the Android Auto, leave comments in the comment section below or you can contact us online at smailgmc.com.